We are continuing our program, inshallah. Every night we talk about the end times, uh, and the, uh, because we are in the end times, and we are talking about Hazrat Mehdi Aleyhisselam, Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, and the important people, uh, important person of the end times, inshallah. And tonight we will talk about uh, Hazrat Aleyhisselam, uh, the subject of the Hazrat Aleyhisselam. Hazrat Aleyhisselam is among the people, and Sister Betty will talk about this subject. Uh, the blessed Qadir salam, is a holy individual possessed of wisdom and knowledge who is pro uh, probably a prophet according to the views of a great majority of Islamic scholars and we would like to show you a video, a recent video that has been published let us watch our video firstly presidential palace When we look closer to the video, uh, we can see a shadow uh, person uh, going on. So it is more closer. Yes, it's green shadow we see. Green shadow. On a horse. He's riding a horse, right? It's like a horse, yes. It's Egypt, right? Among the people. Yes, it's uh, right. from the Egypt. From the Egypt. And uh, this was also showed in uh, Mr. Adnan Oktar's uh, interview, mm -hmm. and he explained that it is uh, Hazrat, uh, Hazrat uh, Qadir alayhi salam. Mm -hmm. So we would like to tell about uh, Qadir alayhi salam. He possessed the knowledge of Ladun, Yaman Ladun, mm -hmm. uh, the knowledge of divine providence. This which may also be described as the knowledge of hidden matters is a special knowledge imparted to other people chosen by Allah. Those who have such knowledge are privileged are inspired by Allah to know of hidden matters. They know the course of events and their future outcomes to the extent permitted by Allah and act accordingly. All scholars from the peoples of the book are agreed that the individual described as uh, a slave of ours whom we had granted, it is a verse, I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan, a slave of ours whom we had granted mercy from us and whom we had also given knowledge direct from us. Allah says in the Quran, in verse 65 of Surat Al-Kaf, is the blessed Qadir alayhi salam. So it is revealed in the Quran that the Prophet um, Moses, as met with the Qadir alayhi salam, set out on a journey with him and wished to benefit from the knowledge imparted to him by our Lord. In addition to the Qadir alayhi salam's journey, with the Prophet Moses salam, the hadiths also contain much trust, trustworthy information about the Qadir. One of the most frequently debated subjects regarding the Qadir salam, throughout the course of Islamic <coughs> history is that of whether or not he is alive, uh, he is still alive. Mm -hmm. So according to the information contained in the hadiths and the interpretations of great Islamic scholars, the blessed Qadir is needed uh, is indeed still living. As we can see in the video, uh, we can not see in everywhere because as Mr. Yes. Adnan explained, he is uh, hiding, Allah hides him, yes, but uh, he is in the, uh, in the Mahdi, he will be in, with the Mahdi salam, in the end times. So he will be a task again. Yes, so uh, we can also show what Mr. Adnan Oktar said about uh, Hazrat Qadir alayhi salam. Hazrat alayhi salam dünyanın başlangıcından itibaren var mıydı? Var tabii ki. Yani Hazrat insan fakat aynı zamanda melek gibi yani çok acayip. Yani bir anda ruh aynı bir anda insan olabiliyor. Yani onun bağlı Mesela Hazrat İsa aleyhisselam e, kendi talebi değildir. Yani o Allah onu almıştır göğe. Mesela anında e, ruh haline gelmiştir Hz. İsa Aleyhisselam. Yani ruh derken e, başka bir aleme geçtiği için söylüyorum. Yoksa aynı cism, cismiyle geçmiştir. Yani üstündeki kıyafetlere, ayakkabısıyla, kendi bedeniyle başka bir aleme geçmiştir. Ve şu an canlı. E, e, yani yaşıyor şu an hayatta. 
Ve o boyuttan Allah tarafından bir anda dünya boyutuna getiriliyor. Hazreti Hızır da öyledir. Mesela aniden dünya boyutundan çıkar, aniden dünya boyutuna gidiyor. Mesela melekler de öyledir. Evet. İster bir anda dünya boyutuna, mesela sen girersin, adliyeden gezersin, orada oturan bir polis kılığında olabilir, polis kılığında önünde olur. Sana selam verir, haberin bile olmaz, melekler orada oturur. Evet. Veya orada bir avukat görünümünde çantasıyla iner, merhaba nasılsınız der, haberin bile olmaz yani. Bilmezsin. Hocam şehitler mi bu konumdadırlar? Ee, şehitlerin bir daha gelmesi yok. Ee, onlar gidiyorlar, onlar canlı ama bu e, yapıyorlar tabii ki yani. E, ölmüyor çünkü Allah ölmezler diyor. Evet. Ama Hazreti e, e, İsa'daki gibi onlar cesetler, yani ruh olarak gidiyorlar şehitler. E, biliyorsunlar vefat ediyor. Mesela Hazreti İsa Aleyhisselam'ın bedeni de gitti yani bedeni de yok oldu. Bu, o boyuta geçti. Ama şehitlerin bedeni kalıyor. Ona ruhu gider. Fakat imtihana devam ediyor yani ruhları imtihana devam ediyor. Yeni bir ceset giydiriliyor ya da yeni bir beden veriliyor. Ona imtihan oluyorlar. O imtihandan sonra yine o bedenler alınıp ondan sonra cennete geçiyorlar. Evet. Hocam peki ben böyle çok soru soruyorum hocam. Sorun olmuyor. Evet sordu. Hz. İnsan'ın diğer boyuttaki halinle ilgili bir bilginiz yok değil mi? Yani uyku modunda mıydı? Ne durumda olduğunla ilgili? Peygamberimizden görüşüyor. Görüştü mesela Miraç'ta görüştü Peygamberimizden. Evet. Ama hatırlamaz. Ya yani mesela şimdi şu an geldiğinde hatırlamaz. Ya yani geçti boyutu da hatırlamaz. Bilmiyorum sen sen öyle beladaydı biz Allah'a söz verdik biz de hatırlamıyoruz. Hatta akşam rüya görüyor insanlar. Eğer e, uyanmadan e, e, mesela geç uyanırsan o an rüya görürken hemen uyanırsan hatırlarsın. Evet. Ama bir süre sonra yani rüyadan bir süre sonra uyanırsan hiçbir şekilde hatırlayamazsın. Evet. So as Mr. Nanoktar says, Hazreti Kadir e, Aleyhisselam can assume physical human for, e, form or spirit from whenever he so wishes. Yes. And e, we, we may continue with our slides, sister. Among the great commentators and scholars of the hadiths will state that Kadir Aleyhisselam is still alive or The famous Hadis scholars, Shaykh al-Islam, Takuyuddin Abu Omer, Ibn Salah, the great Hadith conserver, Ibn al-Hajar, Askalani, the great Hadith scholar, Kamil al-Hadith, Abu Hajar, Tahavi, the well-known Hadith commentator and conserver and religious law scholar, Imam Jalaleddin Suyuti, Imam Rabbani, the great commentator Ibn Kathir, Ismail Hakkı Bursevi, author of the Ruhul Beyan commentary, and the great Islamic scholar Said Nursi Bediüzzaman. This is how Ibn, Ibn Kathir states that the Qadir salam is still alive. There is an agreement among the majority of scholars that the Qadir salam is living now. There are many reports and witnesses who have reported accounts and hadiths that this is the case. And Hazrat Mehdi Aleyhisselam will resemble Kadir Aleyhisselam and Dulkarnayn Aleyhisselam. We may see on the uh, great uh, scholars uh, quote as that. Mm -hmm. Ahmed bin Ishaq says, I went into the presence of Imam Askari who said, O Ahmed bin Ishaq, he Hazrat Mehdi Aleyhisselam is like Kadir Aleyhisselam and Dulkarnayn Aleyhisselam in this community. This is from Sheikh Al Saduk. Kemal al-Din, volume 2. The information provided in the Hadith shows that the stories in the Quran and uh, uh, about the Qudr salam and Dulkarnayn salam are also applicable by analogy uh, to Mahdi salam. It accordingly appears that Hazrat Mehdi salam will have Qudr salam more values and manners will have his knowledge of the consciousness Uh, of Allah and will act the light of that knowledge. In addition, the story of Qadir salam in the Quran, in the same way that the Prophet Moses salam reacted the ignorance of the wisdom behind Qadir salam actions, so in the end times, people will be unable to properly understand and appreciate the Hazrat Mehdi salam mm -hmm. who will act of knowledge of the consciousness of Allah. 
inshallah. Inshallah. People will misunderstand the Hazrat Mehdi Aleyhisselam and will therefore react very strongly to him. In fact, however, all of Hazrat Mehdi Aleyhisselam's actions will be full of secret knowledge and wisdom as a blessing from Allah. In, in another hadith of our Prophet وسلم, it is also revealed that from start to finish the story of Kaf refers analogically to Hazrat Mehdi salam, who will free mankind from the occupation and antichrist. The hadith regarding the story of Kaf regarding the end times shows that Hazrat Mehdi salam, will rule the world like Dulkarnain salam, mm -hmm. and uh, who is describing the story of Kaf. And in the slide uh, we can see the uh, scholar's quota from scholar's quota Sunan Abu Dawud whoever you lives to see the this is the hadith sorry this is the hadith our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says whoever of you lives to see the Antichrist let him read the beginning of Surah al kaf in him the end of this Surah is your salvation from the occupation of the Antichrist Sunan Abu Dawud 5 to 121. So, uh, none one can cope with Hazrat Mehdi, Hazrat Qadir alayhi salam. The Antichrist is extremely afraid of Hazrat Qadir alayhi salam also. This is all from Qadir alayhi salam, uh, Qadir alayhi salam today. And then we may uh, continue with Hazrat Mehdi alayhi salam. Yes, mashallah. A very important person for the end times, Hazrat Qadir alayhi salam, inshallah. And also, uh, as you talk about, he can be in disguise. We cannot understand if we see him or we are not. But only if he wants him to show, we can see him. Like we, uh, we saw millions of people saw the uh, we, that we have seen. Uh, it's obvious there is a person over there. But uh, like there are people, they move around and they give way to him to pass away. It's obvious that they have seen him too. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's real things we have to remember. There and are very miracles things happening in the end times, but only if Allah wills us to uh, recognize these miracles, then we will. But if Allah does not uh, wills, uh, Allah does not will, so we could not see those miracles, because in the end times there will be some part of the people that could not even understand Mahdi salam, even recognize Mahdi salam, because this is what Allah uh, Allah uh, uh, wants in a part in a period of time, but then they will realize Mehdi alayhi salam, and uh, so that they will understand by the means of Mehdi alayhi salam the tasks of the Qadir alayhi salam. Yes, but uh, currently they could not understand. Yes, mashallah. And uh, as uh, Mr. Adnan Oktar said in uh, one of his interviews, uh, Qadir alayhi salam is a very special creature. Uh, he has said that um, he can uh, take any form. Yes. As he said in the video, he can be anybody. He can be any uh, person. But any at the furniture. same time, yes. yes, at the same time, he can be a furniture. So he can be something that is not uh, live. Yes. Mashallah. So uh, he's a very special creature. Uh, Mashallah. Uh, he's, uh, he don't uh, resemble people. Uh, he, Allah created uh, him with very special uh, uh, features, yes, very, in a very special dimension. If only he wants us uh, to see him, we can see him. We can see Mashallah. him, yes. Mashallah. And Mashallah. also, uh, Mr. Adnan Oktar had said that um, Qadir alayhi salam uh, take place in the establishment and um, the end of um, the, the, uh, the um, countries. Yes, inshallah. Uh, he takes place when uh, one country, when a, a big person from one country, uh, for example, um, will fall down from presidency, or mm -hmm. yes, or uh, fall down from presidency, or mm -hmm. uh, the, um, some special events are happening yes. in that country. Very big political uh, events. Yes. yes, political events. He is in the middle of these events. Yes. Also, Mr. Adnan Oktar mentioned that in, in his one interview that he has the ability to pass over, to travel over the time. So he can even be in the time of the Prophet Moses, he can even uh, be in the time of the Hazrat Mahdi alayhi salam. So he can travel in the, uh, travel in the time. Yes, mashallah.